What is up everybody? In this video, just want to go over a quick little single back ace red zone scheme out of the Los Angeles Rams playbook. Almost said St. Louis there, but out of the Los Angeles Rams playbook. I know uh, in Madden 17, the red zone's been a very stingy place to try and punch the ball in. Hopefully it's a little easier in Madden 18. Uh, Madden 18 right around the corner, so this video will kind of be rounding out the Madden 17 tips as I transition into more and more Madden 18 content. But one last scheme, you know, to kind of put the year away. Single back ace here. And it's basically two or three plays. Uh, the first play I'm already out in, it's going to be single back ace, ace posts. Now, uh, what's great about this play is you have post routes on both sides of the field. And it does look like they don't have enough space to really work with. So what you're going to want to do is smart route both of them. And now what that does is now you can see they break on the goal line. And that gives them a little more space in the back of the end zone to work with. The next adjustment you're going to want to make is have both of your tight ends on out routes. So uh, the great thing about this play is now you have four routes that are all potential weapons in the red zone. Very difficult to find a play where you can hit four different receivers and, and it be an effective route. You know, this close, I'm at the four yard line uh, to the end zone with how just how stingy the red zone's been this year. But you have high point options to the wide receivers and then these out routes by the tight ends. Uh, the great thing about them is they're great low pass options out of their break. Uh, you can put it in a spot where only your tight end is able to make a play on the ball. So it's a very safe route to throw in the red zone and can be very effective to get, you know, three or four or five yards and potentially pop a touchdown. So I'm going to go ahead and run it a few times for you guys right here. Look like man pre or man to man blitz went with the out route. The out route will be open against man to man every time. Right there, the ball happened to get swatted down at the line of scrimmage. So kind of unfortunate, but right there once again the ball gets swatted down. So uh, just having a little bit bad luck as soon as I try and start the video. But right there, so there's the low point pass to Hunter Henry, and you kind of saw how it was put in a spot where no other defender was going to be able to make a play on that ball other than him. Right there once again, Antonio Gates to the opposite side. Uh, you see the low point coming through and these are very consistent routes pretty difficult to stop right there another pass to hunter henry on the out route every single time against man to man that'll be open but not many people play man to man in the red zone so it's not a read you're going to be going to too often now in the back of the end zone you do have these high point routes right there keenan allen didn't get the animation but definitely i would say your first read on this play is going to be the tight ends on or are going to be the tight ends on the out routes and then if you're if your opponent clamps down really hard on those out routes and puts a lot of resources into stopping them that's when you kind of read go down the field and try and hit those high points right there pressure kind of got in i'm trying to squeeze in a high point for you guys even though i'm sure you guys know uh kind of what a high point looks like in the back of the end zone right there Keenan allen almost able to get it but philip rivers let him a little bit too far uh, let's see if I can squeeze one in for you guys. Tyrell Williams in the back of the end zone, and he held on to it. So that was kind of not the cleanest high point in the back of the end zone ever, but it'll do for demonstration's sake. So that's a very, very effective play in the red zone. Doesn't even have to be. I mean, I'm at the four. You could probably start running that anywhere inside the 10. So the next play is just the simple HB dive. So it's the run audible down. If your opponent, obviously, my opponent here is in a 4-4 defensive look. I put the computer in a 4-4 defense. So obviously not the most friendly box to run the ball against but hb dive out of single back ace definitely very effective quick hitting run definitely going to get those yards if your opponent is not respecting it with the appropriate box lineup right there i'm in i'm against the 4-4 and melvin gordon getting an easy two to three yards almost every single time here so uh, that is the next play and then the final play i'm not even going to run it for you well i'll run it a few times but the final play is this wide receiver quick also you can call that fake quick hb dive off of this wide receiver quick motion that's another play you can uh, mix it up with but this wide receiver quick is a very effective play especially if your opponent's crowding the inside and you have a fast speedy receiver especially if you're in mutt someone like a brandon cooks tyreek hill uh you know john ross somebody like that to come flying around the corner now, this play gets pretty solid blocking and you're able to kind of get around that edge and get up field also uh, you don't even have to take it outside if, if you set up the blocks to the outside you can cut this up pretty easily right there kind of got caught up in my blockers but you kind of get the idea this play can be very effective especially if your opponent is in a uh, line stacking look right there almost squeezed through Tyrell Williams six foot four probably not the best demonstrator of this uh, wide receiver quick little jet sweep action but 
you guys get the idea. Very effective at just getting two, three yards, popping your opponent real quick, and then he's got to start respecting it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Uh, if you have, if you happen to run the Los Angeles Rams playbook, definitely look into this. Hopefully, it'll still be effective in Madden 18, as like I said earlier at the start of the video, Madden 17 definitely winding down. Hopefully, some of these tips carry over. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, guys, take it easy. Oh, 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 oh,